today's technical corner, I'm joined by Colin from Guring, and we're going to be talking about the diver and the recent expansion of that program. Absolutely. But for those who haven't come across the diver, what is it? Well, the divers, uh, so, as you rightly say, we've had for yeah approximately three, four years now, and uh, it's a four fluted, or it was a four fluted end mill when it was first launched. Um, which is actually um, for, for drilling, you can actually drill with it, ramp with it, um, rough, finish, slot, it's a bit of an all-rounder all really, but it's been our best-selling cutter for, for the last few years. Mm. Um, when, when you say drill, you mean literally plunge down the Z-axis? Absolutely, I mean this is where it's unique really, or relatively unique, unique. but um, yeah, so uh, the way it's been designed, um, with the way the chisel edge and the um, smaller core, there's a lot of flute space. Um, actually on the tool which allows you literally as you as you say yeah literally mm -hmm. to drill yeah I have seen a lot of the, these tools in, in the field I must admit I think mainly down to it the fact that it's utility tool isn't it you know you can you rough with it you finish with it you Absolutely. know ramp interpolate drill and and that, that's appealing to many engineers so I'm interested to learn you know what's new how have you improved it well We've improved it really and ex just expanded the range as I say when it was first launched it was a four flute um, we've now brought in a three flute version of it. Um, we've gone smaller in the diameters, we're now down to three mil. Um, we've also now uh, very importantly put through coolant holes in um, because we found particularly with the drilling process, you need, in doing pockets, you need to get the swarf out. So we've actually added now through coolant um, holes in the three and the four flute. Mm -hmm. And again, it, it looks fairly unique. You've got some actually and radially, presumably for the drilling process and the milling process. Well, that's that's right, Joe. I mean, when you think about it, then drills, we need the sort of actual sort of coolant holes and for milling, we need radial. So what we've done with uh, with the diver is we put both in. So you've literally got actual <coughs> and radial coolant holes. Um, so yeah, I mean, so whichever way you're using the tool, whether it's actually, um, mm -hmm. say just plunging or when we were, we were milling, then you've, uh, you've got the coolant right where you need it. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm trying to come up with the reason these are used extensively. So what, why have you gone, not backwards, but why have you gone for a three flute, which is a less productive tool? Well, there's still a lot of people out there like using three flutes. And particularly if you're into sort of pocket work and you've got a lot of swarf, you, know, you may want more swarf clearance. So there's still a need and there's still a lot mm -hmm. of engineers out there who like using three fluters. So maybe 30 taper machines, maybe, or absolutely. driven tool and on Correct. the Correct. Yeah, lower powered machines, that type of thing. So there, there was a need out there. We were asked <laughs> for it. So we've basically produced it. Yeah, so this is a 2019 release. Is it available now? Um, yeah, you can be through coolant. I've been using now for, so for several months, and it's uh, say a fantastic tool. Yeah, great success with it. Um, so particularly for mm -hmm. pocketing work with the through coolant. And if you've got a through coolant machine, why don't you use it? You know, it's crazy not not to. Mm -hmm. it's a, there's a, there's a slight premium, obviously, on price, but it, it's not a lot, and uh, the tool life can be phenomenal. Okay, so one thing we do hear about is the tool life. You're absolutely right. Is that down to the signum coating? You know, what is the signum coating? Well, it, it's in, in a great part down to signum coating. Obviously, it's the geometry and uh, et cetera, and the cutting angles, and there's various other aspects to this. Um, but the signum coating is uh, on there. Uh, it's sort of, sort of a bronzy colour coating. Mm -hmm. It's about five and a half thousand Vickers hardness, um, super hard coating. Uh, I've even used this coating in um, carbon fibre type tools mm -hmm. and with success. So um, the other benefit with the signum unlike maybe a diamond coating, is uh, we can actually strip this and re-coat it in Birmingham. So we can re-grind these tools. Um, so as long as uh, the customer mm -hmm. gets them back to us in a good, good state, in a box, <laughs> um, we can actually put them in a de-coating bath and then uh, re-coat, re re-grind and re-coat mm -hmm. uh, with the signum. And just finally, I, I noticed in your catalogue, you've got some quite uh, strange sizes, haven't you? You've got imperial metric and some, and some intermediate sizes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we. When it, when it was first launched, I thought it was a bit strange, but we, we sell a lot of them. We do, as you rightly say, sort of 9.7, 11.7, and mm. uh, et cetera, and 15.6. This is for um, slotting work, where you can rough down and do slotting work and then just finish off. Uh, and also for internal uh, radii, where you can actually generate the radii rather than sort of jamming the cutter, mm -hmm. as you would with, say, with a 12 mil, you can use the 11.7 mm -hmm. and actually um, yeah, generate radii. Great, well, many thanks, Colin. And for more information about the Goering Diver, get in touch with the guys over at Goering.